Okay, so we will just hop into the questions. Basically, I know that you are in Wilcox right now, and you've just moved here, right? You haven't been uh, in Wilcox for too long. Not very long. What kind of house are you in right now? Ooh. Because you, you were a renter just for a short while. Yeah, yeah. And now you're actually owning a mm-hmm. house? I do. I mean, just a regular... It was built a little bit better than all the ones today. It was built, I think, in the 70s. So... And you Probably just more. moved in there a couple months ago, mm-hmm. a week ago? Yeah, a month ago. Yeah. How far away from the office is it? It's pretty good ways. You've got you got a commute? <laughs> good commute. A good, I got a pretty good commute. I'm just writing this down. Yeah. And we're answering <laughs> our phones as we go. I know it, I know it. That's My, just how it is, our right? Our jobs don't stop. Here mm-hmm. it is. You got to get these soybeans thing answered. Okay. What leaf did he say? I'm just curious. Oh, let me let you know this too because you need to know this. Uh, Soybean leaf sample, youngest full size leaves. That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. So it'll be towards the top, but sometimes they can have some small leaves that come off the vegetative branches. Just make sure they're full size leaves. Hmm. Good to know. Yeah, I haven't dealt with many soybeans yet. They're ha- soybeans are actually pretty easy. I like to hear that. It's more groups and varieties up front, mm. and then plant population after that. Watch for Asian soybean rust and then scout a little bit for some caterpillars. But yeah, so uh, back to the question. So you're a homeowner. Your house was built yeah. in the 70s or so. So Thank it's you, not brother. one of those yeah. new condominiums or complexes. But Well, not the soft pine that was built today versus older. I don't know what they call it, hardwood or heart pine or something. Mm-hmm. It's built out of the old heart, good wood. So very, um, it's actually, you can tell how cool it is. But those kind of houses it's well heat insulated. And cool better. They're a lot better insulated. Huh. Yep. So what type of structure is it? Wood. Uh, like a, like a townhouse. It's not a condo. It, uh, it's, it's just a, a single house. family. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. just a house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. How many floors? One. One floor. Is there's not a lot of houses with basements in Georgia, is no. there? Well, it's just not only a thing. in Atlanta. Okay. In Atlanta, there's a lot of basements. Is yep. it because of the water table? It's it's. No, it's um, or the clay. Or? It's the clay and stuff. Yeah. It could be, but I don't think that we could really support basements down here. Mm-hmm. But they are a bunch in North Georgia, and at, from starting from probably a little bit below Atlanta mm-hmm. all the way up. My buddy's house that we brought up there at NACAA, his has got a basement, <laughs> and you don't even look at. But all those neighborhoods, it's all hilly. So they just build a house on the edge and then just drop a basement. And some of the basements aren't necessarily in the ground. Mm-hmm. They just call them a basement. They're almost just like a lower <laughs> floor because there's hills, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like the back but, end of it's still but sticking But my grandparents, out. they had a basement, and it was kind of dug out. And the ground actually came all the way up to the window all the way around it. So you have some water issues and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it served its purpose, you know, storage and a place to get for a tornado or something. Huh. Okay. But yeah, I've never, we don't have basements anywhere down here that I know of. Um, and I always thought that had to do with the soil. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it wouldn't support it, but it could, I don't know. Huh. I don't know why. Yeah, my landlords, because I live in Araby and I'm just yeah. renting from them, mm-hmm. I'm in the house that's next to theirs. They have a basement. And I think yeah. they're the only house in Araby, Georgia, that has a basement. So they said, you know, if there's ever bad weather and you need to come seek shelter, we're probably the only house that can yeah. hold people. Is there? I know there are tornadoes that just came through you know, a year and a half ago, two years ago. The one, some of the ones that went through Albany, there was one that was just south of Araby. It stopped. The bad ones. There was actually multiple ones, mm-hmm. but um, they didn't kill nobody. But it did, if you look at the damage, the ag damage is incredible, and the how wide it was will blow your mind. We were. I was just down the road from it, but it actually went just east of Abbeville and over the river before it picked up in the air. Mm-hmm. So it was on the way to Eastman. Huh. So, wow! And the stories that I've heard Jeez. about it blew mm-hmm. my mind. Yeah, and seeing the aftermath, a, uh, it's like oof. We know Roxanne and his family. She would tell me they was in their house and they didn't know. They actually didn't know it. They knew it right at the end of it, but it picked their roof up and set it back down. It's a two story mm-hmm. house and just sat it. And they were all sitting in the living room. <laughs> and a pine tree came through the window of their bedroom and it went right across their bed. And she said we was just there taking a nap. It had tore them up. They would have... That's terrifying. Yeah. But I've they were all safe so at the stories. end of it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it... I don't even think it killed nobody. 
but wow. everybody's got their story of where they were because it's just down trees and everything. They couldn't get through this part of town and that. Yeah. But it was crazy. Wow. That was one from Albany. Mm-hmm. So, so you've lived here very shortly, but yeah. how did you end up here in Wilcox County? Well, we just did a, a move, a transfer, you know, just a transfer to another county and, and uh, you know, just a move over here kind of thing. It was because of work? Opportunity was there. Mm-hmm. It was because of work, or mm-hmm. or did it did or you came here knowing? That no, it was work. Okay. Yeah, it was work. And it got you. It got closer. Got you closer to family, or yeah, yeah, got a little bit closer to family. We're we're all kind of scattered out, but yeah, that definitely was was a little bit of it. Where were you before? Down in Thomas County. Thomas County. How long were you there? Six years. And then have you? Uh, where were you before Thomas County? I'm just curious. Um. In school in Atlanta. Okay, so you so spent really some time in North in Georgia. Atlanta yeah. And uh, in school right before that. So I only spent a year working out of school before I moved down here. Man, a l- little different down here than in Atlanta. Yeah, that's right. And this is where I'm from, but I'm, you know, it's 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 a completely different culture and everything. Did you grow up in Wilcox or where? Mm-hmm. where what kind Douglas. of Douglas. You're Douglas? Mm-hmm. Okay, not too far away from Alma, Newton. Georgia. Nope. Very cool. Yeah, I I've been here for about three or four years in the state. Mm-hmm. I was born and raised in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. I keep thinking Vermont. Yeah, New def- Hampshire. Yeah, I, I did my undergrad in Vermont, and so just the Northeast in general. That's cool. Okay, so the house that you're in now, that you've been in for about a month or so, do you have rooftop solar on the house? No, you do not. At this point, is it a thought that has ever Never crossed has your been mind? A thought no? to do it. <laughs> not even close. Uh, now that you're thinking about it, what do you think would be some of the limitations? Money. Mm-hmm. And efficiency. Efficiency of? How much electricity can it apply, supply you? Or power, I guess I should say. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. I don't know the terminology. So, the, the kilowatt hours yeah, that it would give you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So you question the efficiency of it and then the upfront And costs. it's only because I've seen one. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was in Thomas County, um, somebody down there had a, they didn't have, it wasn't their whole roof, but it was pretty much the whole roof of the garage, which was huge. It was a second, separate section and then a big section of their roof. And, uh, they invited me out to look at it and, uh, I had never seen one before. I never thought about it. So that got me thinking. But once I saw, I don't remember the percentages, but once I saw how much it cut back on their electric bill, I just couldn't believe that it didn't do more than it did. That was the first thing I thought. I didn't tell them that, but I was like, wow, you would think it would do a little more than that. But I don't remember the percentage. It it was probably better than 10%, but it was just so much lower than I thought. So, Mm -hmm. and you know, they had to have had no trees around, but they had woods and they had a lot of property. So they weren't up against a house. I don't know. Do we have clouds? You know, is that part of it? I think it's, I just wonder if it's still developing. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, if it's still developing. But where you have a lot of area to put them, maybe it takes a lot, you know. One day we might can make one of them things that'll do as much as a whole field of them would today. I don't know. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Mm-hmm. Market will figure it out. Get the efficiency does. of the solar That's my panels. perception of it, especially based on what I've seen, but that's never been a thought of ours, mm-hmm. especially in town. You know, the ordinances wouldn't allow us to do them probably. But if you live out in the county, you might could. But, um, but yeah, for how much they cost and then how much is it saving, I don't know. Mm-hmm. They had a lot of money tied up in them things. But they had the money to do it, too. They were really well off, the people that I knew. Do you remember what they told you, if they mentioned anything about what the upfront cost was? I No, I don't. I don't know if I asked them, but they might have told me because they invited me to come look at it. Mm-hmm. I that must think have been they neat did. just to see the technology. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was early in my career in this job. It was probably 2012. Mm-hmm. So I was very new to the area. About six years ago or mm-hmm. so. Wow. Huh. So I don't remember a lot about it. But but um, but now I just remember walking through the house and looking at it. He showed me his little panel inside the garage. And then we went in the house and he showed me something about the kilowatts or something like that. Mm-hmm. 
And um, it probably had like units I maybe that would read it up. Yeah, it did. I I expected it to be like sixty percent or something, but maybe my expectations were bad. But I think it was like twenty. It was so much lower than I thought. I was thinking if it did fifty percent, you'd probably be it'd probably help you a little bit. But it was so much lower than I thought. And I was like, wow. But ain't nothing we could ever afford anyway. So I never really thought about doing it. But it was cool to just see it from an educational standpoint. Mm-hmm. And that was my perception. Maybe this has a little bit of developing to do. But that's where the markets come in. I mean, the market's going to have to figure that stuff out. Whoever builds them, they got to get that technology going. And you know, some places, what's the sun intensity? It's probably way more intense here than it is. But does the humidity affect it? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, think about Iowa, you know. Probably don't have that humidity, but you might have longer days of, like, no clouds, maybe. That's just my perception. I ain't never been there, but all the pictures. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that has something to do with it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of science behind the weather that's, and how yeah. that's going to affect. That's right. That's right. How well the... So that's just, that's just my perception based on actually seeing them once. And if I hadn't seen them, I... Wouldn't know even that much. Mm-hmm. But it ain't something I really thought about. That's an interesting story, though. It's kind of fun to yeah. see what your clients have done. I know. And then and as a future homeowner, yeah. you're like, hmm, interesting. Right. Yeah, that's right. You kind of start thinking about when you know what you got. you got to have power somehow. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, they had a, I don't remember their upfront cost, but I know it was a lot. And, um, you know, it wasn't a whole roof, but it was a huge, about a third of their house. And they had a two-story house least 2,500 square feet of, and that ain't counting the second floor so maybe double wow. but at least on the bottom 2,500 square feet mm-hmm. so um, and then you had a separate garage and and the, it was a two car full garage and actually had more room so you probably oh. could have got three cars in it and that had a normal looking roof just an A-frame yeah that was attached it was off the house so you can drive a car in between them two mm-hmm. and the house here so that whole roof was solar panel okay. on that carport and the house was a third of it, that one part right there, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. And so it wasn't 100% of it, but it was just that much. Mm-hmm. So huh. that was it. I mean, that's the only experience I have with it. No, that, that's a good anecdote. Probably good. better than, than most. If I hadn't really. went out and looked at it, because I never met anybody else down there mm-hmm. to have that, you know. Nice. So okay. just so, random. They called me, too. I didn't call them. They were just like, hey, hey we heard you're the county aid. Yeah, that's it. Come on down and check this we've, thing we've out. We've worked with uh, Extension on this and just thought you might be interested in coming out. Sure. So. Uh, so did, did they work with, with Dr. Gary Hawkins? I think they either met him, knew him, or Or they just looked at him. some of his data or something, yeah. So. Huh. Yep. He knew who they were. Mm-hmm. So. Anyway. That's good to hear that the university had a, had some kind yeah. of part to play oh, in yeah, that decision. Yeah. Gary did something. I don't know what the huh. deal was. So in the house that you're in now, you yeah. d- you didn't you didn't make the decision. The house was the way it was. It didn't have oh, yeah, anything yeah. on it. it. And when you were time ago. when you yeah. were hunting for a house, you yeah. weren't necessarily thinking about no you way. were looking for solar or already no, established. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Yeah. So you're in a single family home. Uh, we've already briefly talked about it, but if you had the option. Would yeah. you or would you not? And what are some of the barriers of adopting solar? The the hundred the only barrier would have been the cost. Mm-hmm. Um, is it going to have a cost to the price of the house? So what's it going to affect on that square footage price? Mm-hmm. And then even better than that, that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing is what's it going to supply in terms of. So let's say them things was on the house and they were paid for. And they were on the back side of the house, and they didn't make your house look crazy. <laughs> and So there's aesthetics there as there's well. There's aesthetics yeah. there, too, because when you buy a house, Kinda number one thing you've got to think about is selling it. Because mm-hmm. you never know if you're going to be in there forever. So you have to make sure you actually, and we've learned this because we've done this now a few times, and we're on very, very young for people who bought and sold houses. But you've got to be... Unless you think you live, I mean, unless you think your everything will go perfect in life, you got to know that something crazy can happen, and you may have to sell it. So, what's the market going to be there as well? So, if it was on the house and on the back side of the house, I love energy efficient stuff. Um, and it was paid for, and the only thing we'd have to do is upkeep. Then. If the upkeep wasn't that bad, you know, and mm. even if I, even if it only supplies you 10%, if you didn't have to pay nothing for it, but there'd be some kind of upkeep. So, you know, and the industry, the solar industry too, may be still experimenting with that. How long do they last? 
you know, do you do your upkeep every five years and do like an overhaul that costs, you know, $20,000? Or do you do just a minor thing every few years at mm-hmm. just a few hundred bucks? I don't know that. That would be my questions if I had saw a house that had that on it or something, you know. Yeah. Like, are, are there various inputs you're going to have to, you're going to have to supply right. once you yeah, adopted yeah. it? Yeah. Or is it just like a free Toyota check-in, like just know, change my yeah. oil for free and bing, bam, boom, you're done? Basically, that's it. Yeah. That's, I mean, and, and if it was for that, oh yeah, if all that was good, I wouldn't have minded it, you know. Um, you know, it wouldn't have bothered me, really. Mm-hmm. But I think that's how I think that's how they had theirs. They might not have had both roofs. I think they had it on the back sides because it wasn't on both sides. I remember that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So 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 from like so you still got the road, you wouldn't see point. it. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it was still facing the it correct was facing way. Facing the backyard. To, yeah. yeah. To get mm-hmm. the most sunlight. Okay. But that's right. It's got to get that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like you said before, it has to be yeah. angled in such a way so it's still getting the sun. True. You got to get that afternoon in the probably. Way and all that. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's so right. When is the strong? The mo- when is mm-hmm. the sun the most Southwest. strong? Southwest. Southwest. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Well, I think we'll move into the last part of the of the interview, and we are actually going to look at some maps. And this is ca- to kind of get your overall idea of okay. where you think people are actually adopting solar, oh, where okay. it may Do already I plug exist. Them in? So this is the map is just a tool. You can talk it out. You can use your hands. You can write it down on the map. Um, it's just to kind of have a visual of, okay, here's okay. the United States. So do I mark where I think they are doing them right now? You can, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where do you think the I could be wrong the about most? this? I don't think they got the money there. I think this one may do it some. Hmm, I don't know about that. Salt Lake. Salt Lake City. I, for some reason, I'm, I'm just, this is my perception. In-laws just went here to do a Bible school mission thing. Oh, wow. And I just saw a bunch of pictures, and they ain't no way there's no solar stuff out there. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be solar out there. They are very poor. Very poor. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, here, too, because it's it's, it's a lot of uh, Native American tribes, and they, they don't have nothing in poor folks. I feel bad for them. Uh, but I always picture, you know, the West with the sunlight Mm -hmm. (laughs) maybe i'm wrong so they got the windmills out here maybe they do that i don't know i ain't never seen no picture of nebraska what if they have them up there in montana colorado and we were just talking about denver a little while ago i know see all that right there is mountains yeah, yeah, really just yeah. They part. have the so big chunk of the Rocky Mountains right there. In the mountains, but I don't know if they carry them up there on them roads or not. I don't know. Yeah, if you almost think about well, wind as well up there. That's true. Yeah, yeah. on the ridge lines. <clears throat> Kansas, well, you would think would be a good place, but you know, I think when I look at the South, I just think about trees, trees, trees. But you can cut out <laughs> trees plantations. in your yard, you know. But that right there is solid green. That's like fields. I flew over it before, so I kind of seen what it looks like. Um, I don't think y'all tell me if I'm wrong, but <coughs> I don't think nobody. I don't know. It may be something around Boston. I could see New York, but I don't know where they. Are. I don't know be on the top of a building. Yeah, I don't think so. And there's all different kinds of solar. We're, we're you know, we're, for our purposes, we're just talking about rooftops. So it would be the adoption of residential oh, people, okay. yeah, really. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. then there's there's solar farms, yeah. and that's usually a whole other thing. That's a different thing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I've actually been to Chicago, but I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just all a guess. For some reason, I pictured it as a Midwest thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that was great. Because you, you were talking about some of the some of the reasons why you were marking some of these states as you were going along as, you know, the economic situation of the people in those states or these these were the states that were getting a certain amount of solar radiation, so you said, yeah. maybe that's it. So those are really good points on a, on a, on a national level. Uh, and to finish off the interview, we're really just going to narrow down to the state level, and here's a map of all the counties in Georgia. Oh. And now we're going that direction. Now, if you kind of want to use that as a tool and mm. say, okay, in Georgia specifically, what counties do you think would be the most eager to have 
soul around their houses, around their buildings. And I guess this could include businesses, too. Yeah. It doesn't have to be just residential. I could see them people doing it in Savannah. Taking a train to Georgia. Mm -hmm. Got Georgia on my mind. Yeah. I start singing we for went us. to Columbus. I go to Macon. Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody there. I don't know. What about North Georgia? North Georgia. I don't know. I guess that's. I could see that maybe. Maybe I can see it up in Forsyth County. Thinking back to when you were up there around Atlanta, yeah, you going to school I worked and all, all that. Up there. Did you, yeah. Did you see? Do you remember seeing it? I can see. No, I don't. Yeah. I'm actually trying to think about it because I I saw so many businesses, all these rich, rich businesses mm -hmm. up here in Suwannee and Duluth. Um, do I remember seeing businesses? With, I don't remember ever seeing that. And I'm not saying they weren't up there on a the roof somewhere. I'm trying to think too. I don't. I haven't really seen a lot of buildings with solar on them. I could see them up there. Maybe because they're more. You know, they might be thinking more like that. In other words. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, so out of the box a little bit. You got some of the Atlanta area highlighted. You got the mm -hmm. uh, uh, Savannah highlighted. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm really curious about what's going to be happening down in our southwest yeah. district, in the southwest part of the state. I just heard a news blurb the other day about Doherty County uh -huh. and how there's some outside company that's looking yeah. to put in a solar farm out there. One They're looking was, at like 100 acres. One was in my former county. Yeah. <laughs> Well, who's the they, company? I don't remember. Yeah, I, don't I never know. got involved. This was like a commissioner told me about it, and solar uh, extra. He said they just were not all about it. But actually, yeah, because it takes it takes up land, you know. I talked to the farmer they had actually talked hmm. to. It was actually going to be through that farmer, and he was going to be okay with it. But I didn't like that the county seemed to have an issue with the appearance. And I'm uh, thinking it's going to be behind the woods and the people don't even drive on that road mm -hmm. but i think they had this fear that they was going to come in and but they were going to pay the farmer to use that land i see for a certain amount of time mm -hmm. and i just happened to be i worked with that farmer on some cotton stuff and this and that and he was younger you know he was kind of into stuff and and he told me a lot about it and then i also found out but there's ordinances and stuff with the county see not every county has a lot of ordinances and stuff around here there's none mm -hmm. so i mean you know so it, maybe that's a barrier i don't know i don't know if you it's can be a huge barrier for some places because some... a place where i came from where they mm -hmm. kind of think of themselves as so mm -hmm. i en ended up being in a conversation with a commissioner a month later i think and i don't know if i mentioned it or he mentioned it and he was quick to say what do you want don't have none of that or this or that and it wasn't it was the fear of, this is what I took it as, the fear of, because he mentioned something about seeing all that from the road or something, but it was like, but it ain't even a road that nobody that's not from the county drives on that. They're mm -hmm. going to change nobody. You know, but it could have been the same people. I don't know about huh. who it was. Yep. Interesting. So that actually was, I uh, that was close to, you know, but that's what they may ought to do is get on some farms. You know, some places ain't going to be going to care about that at all. In most places in South Georgia, I don't think they would care about that at all. They might not put it on their house, but having them in a farm, who cares? You know, there's no cause ordinances. Put, putting it on your house has... What's that going to cost? Yeah, that's what I think. The money. The money See, in rural number. counties like this, nobody... That's just... It's, it's different here. People don't have that kind of money. Um, in the county I was in, it was a uh, Southwest Georgia County, but they they had a lot. They had a lot of money. They had a lot of old money. That's what they call it mm -hmm. from many generations before. But they just had a lot of industry. Ag was the number one, but they just had so much other stuff. 